I've said all along, I don't want my wedding to be a joke. This is what it is, so I just want to get it done, over with. I don't know. She might come down with your face like thunder, but she hey, she don't. Back, man, I'm absolutely <laughs> myself now, then. Where does this lead to? Oh, what stupid idiot. I know you like pigs between you, but this is stupid. No, I don't even like them, do we? It's just... Take me down there, do it and go. I think I've put up with quite enough. After three weeks apart, this is the moment Billy's been waiting for. But is his piggy plan a big mistake? I just think it's a joke, really, that we're in a pig farm. Pig poo, <laughs> not very pleasant, not what you want to smell oh, on your wedding no. day. It's gone to the extremes now, and I just want to get this over with. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entry of the bride. No, if anyone laps, I will kick off. The first bride not to smell. <laughs> to light three candles mm. in memory of those who they wish could be here. This marriage is the promise of a lifelong commitment between two people. I mean, like, the ceremony, the words, was lovely. They was really meaningful, so I did like that bit. I just still can't believe that we're here. I'm just in shock, really. You love pigs, though? Not this much. This is awkward as this little piggy wedding is about to get a whole lot piggier. My name's Mark McKinley. I'm here from Guinness World Records to adjudicate the largest pig parade. The pigs have to be in a constant stream, so that's to be a constant parade of pigs throughout. As Steph watches from the car, Billy, with the help of his guests, attempts to guide himself and Woodhouse into the record books. I'd rather be having something to drink on my wedding day, not sat in a car watching pigs go around fields. 